Hello, as always, I am Captain Snaggles. Thank you for joining me today. This is Software Inc. And I guess let's get started. Let's pick ourselves a map. We're gonna pick uh, Apartment Inc, a building for rent. It costs us 480 per month, so it's every four days in this game, every quarter, four, or no, 480 per year, I think? Oh yeah, per month. So it's four days per month, which actually I don't wanna do four days per month. It doesn't make any sense. How many days are there in a month? Oh, four weeks, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, that's, each one of those represents a week, not a quarter. I'm really tired. Let's redo the intro, let's have fun. Um, we're all together, then we'll get started, I'm sorry. MSGN, I'm glad it's hot there. Hot is good, we all know that. As long as it's not muggy, it's not muggy here, it's perfect. I am Captain Snaggles, this is Software Inc. This is Jack Cook, the founder of Snaggle Software, and we're gonna play a game. So let's pick our map, Apartment Inc. Buildings, enter. Okay, please wait, let's go, we'll start, we'll pause, we'll build an office. So this is Alpha 10.3, I believe, of Software Inc. There may be a setting that tells me which one it is. The important thing is, this is our building. As you can see, here's where we work. We're renting this office in here, this apartment. So it's got a little bathroom. It's got this area with a great window through it. And what we're gonna do is start by putting in some desks, you know, moving around. I actually want to have my grid size and change my furniture snapping to 45s. And we'll, we'll sit here, we'll sit stare out the window. We're gonna ourselves an executive chair since we were the executive officer. We need a computer for computery stuff. We're gonna put a light, an old single overhead light in that will help light the office. Perfect. Um, to help our programming, so we can have these little additions to desks, inbox, calculator, drawing tablet, or phone. The calculator is the one we'll use. It'll increase the programming a bit. So we'll put that next to our computer. Honestly, as a founder, that's all we need to start. We don't need food, we don't need coffee, we don't need anything else. Um, but what we are gonna do is, because we you know, want this office to look realistic, we're gonna put a little couch in here, right click on it, and we can select a color. We're gonna make it, this is 1980s, sort of like a 70s, like throwaway brown leather couch. So a little paler. Oh, I like that. And we'll apply A37, oh, I forgot to do the other side. Furniture color, secondary, we just select the A37736 color and apply, <coughs> excuse me. And it looks horrendous. We're gonna put a little plant in here. We're gonna find a clock to put in somewhere. Put a clock over here by the door. Um, what else do we need? I guess we could put in a little table with a coffee machine on it. So let's put that in. Let's put a little coffee machine. Does it make a lot of noise? Durability three months. Okay, let's do this instant coffee maker. A little easier. All right, um, and this is, yeah, our swanky office. I guess that's all we need. Oh, let's, you know, let's brighten it up. Put a little picture in there. It's good. It looks pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Woo, all right, sneezing done. I muted my mic, hopefully. Otherwise, oh, I'm sorry. If you didn't hear that, then excellent. All right, um, I think that's all we need to do. Let's stop building. It's day one of four of, it's the first week of January. We have $8,000, it's 10 a.m. We're not coming in today. We're going to skip ahead to when we come in, 7 a.m., second week of January. It's snowing, we're gonna get ourselves a contract. We're gonna find, we're gonna do some embedded system stuff. Why not? Let's accept the work, put the core team on it, which currently is us. We will, there's, hey, here we go. Look at our swanky car. It's adorable, it's very 80s. Um, and we're gonna come into work. We're gonna do this for the whole time. If you've never played this game before, it's super fun and super deep. Like, basically it's, you set projects, you set your guys to do the projects, and then they do them. So we're currently in the design phase. He's gonna go get coffee, because that's what they always do. It's a little dark in the office. Let's actually help. Let's put the second light sort of here. And then we're gonna move this light to like over the desk. Look at the lighting model in this game, it's really pretty. 
Um, it says the walls are in the way. Where's the wall button? Toggle walls. There we go. Let's get the rid of all of the windows and the back walls, so you can sort of sim the style. So the walls in our office are gone. These walls you can see through. Yeah. Let me stare out the window. Let's get all up close and personal. Why have you zoomed so far in with what you're expecting? There's nothing here. Go back to playing. Well, that's adorable. I like that run.bat. Hello. And he's just typing. But he's got his coffee cup. It's the important thing. Oh, God, he's zoomed too far in. You can stay looking at him. His coffee's gone. He's just going to program. So what we can do is select him and look at this executive chair. Select him and look at these are his roles. If he were a normal employee, it'd be a stats as effectiveness. It's 117.6. It's based on a lot of factors. Currently, his calculator and the clock increases effectiveness. He's got a couch to hang out at. And he's designing this thing. So since, you know, it's 8 a.m., it's going to take a while. We're just going to go fast speed through the design process for Chicken Limited through this embedded system. And when this goes full, we're going to the develop button. And then no one's competent with system code. And he's gone home for the day, which is fine. So we'll fast forward. We're gonna fast forward through a lot of like, we have three days left to get this alpha out. You can see this, the total code out of the total requirement is 0.69 code points, as it were. So once we get to 0.69, we're gonna promote it. And then he'll do the beta phase. And we'll probably let him just fix bugs because we get a penalty off our total pay for however many bugs there are. So he's gonna fix bugs for the rest of the day. 10 bugs, and then while it's gone, I'm just gonna release it. And we made 85.49 with inadequate quality. But we made our money. You know, it doesn't need to be good. And then we're gonna wait till the next day, and we're gonna start a new one. And this will be the beginning of our game for the most part. We'll do some logistics application. We'll accept the work. We'll do the design work for it. He'll get better at programming as he works on this stuff, but it's not gonna be a huge boost. So what we're gonna do eventually is hire an artist and a programmer once we have the money to pay them. So, so he's someone who can do system codes. We're gonna hire someone with system code and we're gonna hire an artist who can do actual like 2D art. So that'll be our first couple, couple things. Yeah, he knows a lot of letters and he knows two numbers, zero and one. It's very exciting. So we're gonna promote it, it's in beta. We'll finish the day out. We're gonna wait to about thirty thousand dollars before we hire our first artist. So that'll give us plenty of money. Outstanding quality. All right, we're getting better. Let's do the next one. We're gonna do the logistics. Once we get the two logistics applications for the game assets, we'll probably want to get an artist on board. So we're gonna make sure we get these done first, and then hire an artist which will change sort of how we how we manage our company. Because instead of just managing us, we'll have to manage a whole new team member, which will be fun. Are we playing at 4K? Yes, I'm playing at 4K, so the UI is super tiny. So I will read things to you. So for example, what this says is no one working on the chicken and eat is competent with system code. This could severely affect product quality. I mean, it won't because these need to be horrible quality at best. And so for like outstanding or even if it's inadequate, like no one's really gonna care. So three days left, but we're gonna just finish the day out by fixing bugs and then release it for some quick cash. And this guy works eight to four. I might make him nine to five, but eight to four is sort of a typical, feels like a typical coding uh, workload, work day. Finish our last logistics application. We should get this done before the month end. And then we'll hire an artist and we'll do, start working on game assets. And hopefully we can hire an artist who has some programming skills so they can help out with programming and whatnot. So not just, just doing art. So. They're saying I'm not competent. No, I'm not very competent at the uh, system programming. At system coding, I should say. So, that'll be fine. I'm gonna do the 66, we'll promote it and he'll work on the bugs. And then when this is all done, he goes home. We're gonna pause, we're gonna release. So we have $49,000 and what we're gonna do is hire employees. We're gonna look for an artist 
who specializes in 2D art, and we are just going to interview for overall skill. We're going to do the lowest cost. We're not looking for anyone. All right, our three options. Rodrigo Frazier, who's 22 and has very... He's going to ask for no money, which is nice. Um, Rocco Bennett is 23 and is decent. These guys are all worse than our current team. So if we do comparison, you can see this is our current skill level versus what these guys bring to the table. So none of them are really an improvement, but having a dedicated artist will help. So we'll probably go with Rodrigo because he has a little bit of programming skill. There's a tiny green sliver in programming. So um, we're going to hire him to the core team. And what we need to do now that we've hired him is we need to build him a desk. So he's going to get a little desky poo. He's going to sit over here. Let me get the walls back up. He's going to sit sort of here facing this tree. We'll give him just a normal office chair. He doesn't get the executive chair because he's not an executive. He'll get himself a computer to do his programming on. Oops, it's backwards. So let's move the chair. Let's flip the computer desk around. Return the chair. So right click brings up the radial menu I'm using for all this. Um, you'll need a drawing tablet, which I guess in 1980... I don't think they had drawing tablets in 1980, but I could be wrong. What we're also going to do is put in a water cooler. Sort of like, you know, a social hangout that our worker can hang out at. So there's the water cooler. He can hang out there, chat with the CEO. And then we're going to assign furniture to Rodrigo. And then we'll assign the executive chair, of course, to Jack Cook. And then we will exit build mode. And Jack Cook will drive away. And we'll fast forward. And we need to get ourselves some game assets to do. So we'll accept this game asset work. So we'll see this person will drive in. This is probably Rodrigo. Oh, look, they carpooled. That's cool they're carpooling. That's not Jack Cook's car. Maybe it is. You just got a paint job? I don't know. Bad mouthing each other won't work well with only two. Right, so we do need a third worker to gossip. So we will eventually hire a systems programmer or systems coder. And we're going to put them sort of like, we'll probably stack them over here somewhere. Have these guys facing each other. Have a seat over there. So now they're going to design, are they doing all the art for this? And so we'll fast forward. You know, they get their coffee. They can go get snacks if they need to get water from the water cooler or use the restroom. And so unlike our founder, Rodrigo has needs, social, bladder, energy, hunger, and stress. So as long as he manages those, he'll be an effective worker. Effective, effectiveness is currently 118, which is pretty good. Um, and that will go down as stress increases. And if we click on a room, we can see like it's 400 lumens, 300% environment, which is good, and then 70 degrees temperature, which is perfect, and 28 uh, square meters of space. So yeah, so we can just keep going until we get, I wonder if we can get this done today. Nope, 1.55, so we'll you know, take a second day to get our art done. Yeah, so the art, art people do shapes. So they can get their coffee. Oop, we'll go fast speed while they get their coffee and snacks. And when this hits 2.01, we'll promote it. And then it'll be delayed while they do a little bit of work on it. And then we should put it into beta. And I don't think this will have any bugs. Oh, no bugs to fix. So we release it. And then we grab a new contract. We'll do some more assets, because that pays well. Accept work, please. Oh, and um, in here, in the contract work page, you select something, there's a cost per bug, which for the next thing will be 57. And this requires 2D artwork. So it'll take us a couple days to get this done. And we'll just be working on it into the night, and then they'll work on this tomorrow. So right now, what Snagglesoft does... Oh, his car's blue again. I didn't catch the license plate. We'll catch it this time. Yep. 5F7WR. So what this company does currently is a, they're a contract work company. So they do work for, this is Pit Tweak Limited. They're doing game assets for something. And if we want to see what other companies do once I promote this and get a new contract, we'll go into the details of that in just a minute. 
So let's get through this. We'll promote, it's in beta. So we can do, we look at all software. It gives a list of every piece of software. Can you just go home? Oh, it's 3 p.m. So this shows all of the things currently listed. I don't know how this is listed, but if we look at like, oh, it's by release date. So it's all the software produced from 1970 until now, and you can see there's a lot of stuff. Um, and so if you want to, for example, look at all the operating systems, we can see them all here, frame OSs, etc. Uh, we can look at the active users of all software products. So right now, Space Show Game has one almost two million active users. So we can look at the details of it. And you can see that it's on the Frame Operating System 3, Tiger 4, and the X4 operating systems. You can, here's the total income of it. If you look at units sold over time, see refunds, physical units, digital units, which I guess in 1980 you had digital units, but, and the reputation of it was really high, had a lot of fans, and they sort of drop off over time, which happens. Um, but it's been out for a while. And currently that many people use it, which means a lot of people used it before. So it's from 1976, retailed for $43, and they made $65 million off of it. We see the Frame OS 4 unit sold $2.8 million for Spatial. Frame, unit, uh, frame OS 4 currently has 871,000 active users and made $203 million, which is a ton. So eventually we'll get to the point where we're making stuff like that. But the marketing is still unavoidable for it. And it came out, what, four years ago? So, and it has a sequel, which is probably Frame OS 5, I would imagine, by Alpha Garden. See if Alpha Garden made a Frame OS 5. Let's find Alpha Garden. Yep, Frame OS 5, which has 241,000 active users. So a lot of people haven't switched over to it, but it's still new, a few months old, and it's lost 48 million. So like Alpha Garden makes a lot of software. Um, yeah, and them sitting at computers reminds you of The Sims. This game is very like, it pulls a lot of inspiration from The Sims. Rodrigo Frazier wants a $20 salary raise. Yeah, sure, you can have $20. I don't care. So your employees, you know, they have, they have employee demand, so we'll wait till this goes from delay to beta. When it hits beta, it should be an, an art thing, should have no bugs, because they would have done all that in the art. Um, there it is, so we'll release. And then we'll grab a new contract work. We'll do a logistics application, so we'll have our artist work on some design work, and then he'll do some programming. So we can see the floor here is getting kind of dirty, but our environment isn't effective, so we are effective, so we don't need to call cleaning yet. Oh, whoops. I was not paying attention. We'll get our coding done today. And this should take a little while. I know. I need a system coder. Whoops. It's way ahead there. So it's gonna fix some bugs throughout the day. And then at 2 p.m. or 1.50 we'll release it. And we'll start on some embedded systems work. So really right now all we're doing is just contract work. It's not super exciting, but it'll get us the money we need to develop our own software. So I think once we have about like $100,000, we'll start to develop our own software. This goes really quickly. So we'll finish this. Fixed our bug. He went home. Did he go home early? Is he waiting in the car? Who knows? We'll release it. Um, I think what we could do is open a second office, perhaps. Or maybe we should just hire a programmer and start developing our own software. Let's take a look. So if we develop software, and we develop, let's say, a 2D editor, and we call it Picture Perfect, Picture Perfect, and we make it a default 2D editor, and we charge $25 for it, and we make it have pixel manipulation and a stock library. 
All right, one recommended designer, programmer, and artist. Our team could probably do this by themselves. Don't have pixel manipulation, but if we did, we'd want someone else to do programming on it. Expected interest is 100, which is actually really good. So I think if we, if we get a 2D programmer for pixel manipulation, or so we can, and then we can do picture perfect with our team. So we have everyone working on it. We have two people designing it. We have three people designing it. Two are at least good. Everyone programs, then you know one guy does art. I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, we need to have some operating systems with it. So currently, we could use either Inside OS four or Frame OS five. I think the two up to date operating systems. So if, what are the licensing costs for each? We have half a million active users. We even, and then if we do frame OS 5, that's 12,000 licensing costs is a chunk of money. So I think we'll wait till we have at least 100K. So we'll skip, but we'll do one more contract work, one more embedded systems work. But it'll be good. Yeah, picture, picture perfect is not like word, word perfect. It's the picture version. How many months will I go without cleaning? Probably a lot, because the environment's still at 200%. I could just clean it too, but that happens. Um, that's not what I want, I want this button. I'll take the walls down just for ease of seeing what we're doing. So we'll work on the McChicken Tweak. We're doing embedded systems for McChicken Tweak. I don't know what that is, but it should be fine. Develop, all right. All right, then they're off, do it the next day. Hopefully they come in soon. There's a different car. I thought I had to sneeze again, but I didn't. Oh, that's such a shame. You can see our company reputation, business reputation is going up. So the more, the more work we do, the better our business reputation goes up. Get their coffee, we're gonna promote. At noon, we're gonna release it and start our next project. So we'll release that and do at least one more contract. Yeah, this logistics application, let's accept it and get to work. Back to designing. And these people should be improving their skills as they go. And we can check that. If we skip ahead. Skip our unused time button is super useful. We don't have to wait through times. We go manage teams. No, that's the wrong one, hello. Manage employees and we can see Rodrigo Fraser, see his art skills are getting really good. His base skills, this shows his base skill and his specializations. Um, so his base skills are pretty meh. Jack Cook's base skills for design are pretty good. Um, better at system, not so good at network, hasn't been working on him, but code is, his coding is actually not bad, but his audio art is fine. His network coding is fine, 2D coding is fine. But we're gonna want a 2D specialized coder. Can you have barbecues in the back? I don't know. I don't think we can have barbecues in the back, unfortunately. Um, where's the floor up button? So here's the second floor. These are elevators in the corner. So we could, I think, just put the walls back up a bit. Yeah, we could, you know, get some of these offices out here. I think it's a two story. Oh, it's not. I lied. Here's all the like utilities and stuff up top, but. So we could have a break room up on top. We could eventually fill this whole thing with offices. Where are you going? Oh, he's gonna get food. What I wanna do is eventually build my own building so we're not paying rent. And we can look at the finances with the monthly profits. And here's our bills, our monthly bills, and then our salaries. So, like in March we paid 1310. And then in April, 1767, because he worked all of April. But our contract income has been pretty good, 28K. We made 26,000 in April. And since we're like, you know, halfway through May at the end of this day. We're doing all right for a small company that just does a lot of, uh, what'd you call it? Contract work, that's the one. All right, these tables look right for barbecues. We have a little barbecue out here. I just can't build out there because I don't rent that space. I can only build in the spaces I rent. Which, oh, what's the, no, I'm trying to find the shortcut for up and down. But if we got up here, you know, these are bigger offices. We could have little like meeting rooms in here. 
We could do well here if we really wanted to. Have a whole, like, rent out the space. Or we could just... I don't know. We could eventually move into a new place, build our own building, and work from there. Which means you have to pay all the utility bills, we have a lot more freedom of what you can do with the space. So we'll see how we feel when that comes around. What's 75 degrees Fahrenheit, 74, so it's warm. All right, after we finish this contract, we'll release it, and then we'll pause and we'll hire our programmer. So for that, we're gonna move this desk, put our artist sort of here, and we're gonna build, oh, that's the wrong button. I tabbed out a window. We're gonna go build mode, we're gonna bring in a desk. Should probably move the coffee if we're gonna do this. Let's move the coffee machine over here. I don't want to block the door. Um, let's put it here. That's not too in the way. Oh, it blocks the water cooler. Never mind. There we go. You can get to that. We'll do select these. We'll move this over a bit. We'll get a chair for this guy. We're going to move the CEO's desk over a bit. We'll buy a new computer. This guy's going to be a programmer, so we get a calculator. We can hang out in the water cooler and be social. It'll be perfect. And now that we have the space for it, let's go hire employees. We're looking for a programmer who is a 2D programmer. I want to know his specialization. We can look and find whoever we can. <clears throat> This guy can design this yes, skill comparison. So Truman Moreno can do some, he has good specializations. He also has some 2D design work. He's got really good 2D specialization, Mr. Graham, and he's young. I think we're gonna go with uh, Jefferson Graham because he's the cheapest and he's got the best um, sort of code specialization in 2D. So he knows really well how to do 2D stuff. I could do a spaghetti junction to building design. Compatibility is bad. Oh. We'll do personality interviews. Compatibility is good. I guess we'll go for compatibility then. I like this guy. Normal compatibility. His base skill isn't great, but like he's, he's very specialized in the code department. So we'll go with Truman Moreno. He's also cheap. He's, he's not cheap. He's young. Sorry, he's very expensive comparatively. So we'll hire him onto the core team. And we will develop, we'll start developing our software. So we'll start Picture Perfect. It would be a 2D editor. It'll be $25 and it'll have all of this. And we'll add both operating systems. And that'll be fantastic. And we'll hit develop. All right, what we need to do now is have a marketing team. So marketing teams are very exciting. And for that, we're probably gonna wanna put them, we're gonna put our marketer, we're gonna need a phone. We could put them in a different room and have our own marketing team, or we could reorganize how we do this. Hmm. I don't know if we could fit another desk in here. We already could fit another desk in this pod. Here's what we'll do. We'll fit a desk in right there to this pod. And we'll put a chair in. We'll have our marketing person sit here. And they'll have a phone for their marketing work. It'll be loud, but it'll be obnoxious. This couch just doesn't fit in my office anymore. Unless, all right, I have a plan. Couch goes there. Um, let's reorganize. Whoops. Oh yeah, plant. If you would kindly go over here. Oh, I guess there's a bathroom door there that it would block. Here's what we're gonna do. Our artist is gonna sit here with our marketer. The couch is gonna go, uh, if we can have, if we can get as close to this wall as possible. Um, this is going to go with the plant over here, so it has a good environment still. 
don't like that guy sitting in the wall. Move the water cooler there. Move you. Th we'll put you in the corner. I'm sorry, you get to be in the corner. I think that works. I think everyone's sort of sorted in a spot they can be. Although sitting right next to the bathroom may not be what this person wants to do with their life. So let's actually let's sort of shift this over just so at least they're out of the wall. All right, and then you we're going to assign to Truman Moreno, and then we're going to close this, and we're going to hire ourselves a marketing person. Marketer, two personality, spend it. Yeah, spend the money for it. Begin looking. Palatability, normal. Two good people. Lisa Parkins. Good marketing skills. Young. Cheap. All right. Lisa Perkins, you're going to be hired as our marketer. So this seat we now assign to Ms. Perkins. Actually, I want to shift this out just a bit. So it's just not like stuck in the wall, you know. Um, cool. I think our, our team's growing quite well. So what we're going to do is now we're going to manage our employees. And Ms. Perkins, we're going to change her roles to be just marketing. Truman, we're going to change your roles to be not marketing. Frazier, we're going to change your roles to be not marketing. So people, everyone's going to work on everything. Except marketing is very much the marketer's job. So, and we could have Truman just do art, but I want him to get work on design. These are going to be our core team. These will be the people who like make this company happen. Um, so we have a water cooler. I'm going to move the coffee table. Pardon me. Please select the table. Thank you. Move. Move it closer to the door so the water cooler can be a little more out of the way. There we go. I think this works pretty well as a setup. There's a layout for an office. It's not perfect, but it's got some charm to it. And then we can skip it. And we're going to spend a lot of money making this product happen. So we're going to market it. We're going to announce a release date of... It's May, if we get a year, let's do, I think we can do it in February. Let's do, give ourselves till March of 81. We'll do a press release, that's just text. And like, here's the whole company coming in. And they all carpool together, which is really cool. In the same license plated, but red car this time instead of blue. So our whole team's gonna come in and they're gonna get coffee. Coffee machine's doing well, water cooler's doing well. Lights are in good condition. Environment's good. I think it might be a little loud in here, but we'll see how people feel about that. Happy with your benefits. Happy with your benefits. Happy with your salary. So what we're gonna do, um, since we're talking about it, is manage our employee benefits. And we're gonna start a pension. And it's gonna be $10 a month. So it's not much, but it will be $30 a month for us to spend, which will make our employees slightly happier. That'd be awesome. Kirby Spring is a hobby. Yeah, I think I think they have the same license plate or change the license plate on their own cars. If it's possible they're just respring. One thing to look out for when doing design stuff like this is like see if people's stress go down or their social go down. They should be able to hang out in the water cool cooler for social stuff. One thing we could do is rent an office and turn it into either a lounge or a meeting room, which would increase our sociability, uh, social ability. So if we start to see issues with, you know, people's social needs going down. See his happiness, in satisfaction is increasing as is his effectiveness. Satisfaction is really high. Her satisfaction is going up. <clears throat> Truman Moreno, good coder. He has a job now. Mr. Frazier is also a good coder. Yeah, look at this. Happy. He's happy as a clam. He's effective. We're always 100% satisfied. Because we're the founder. Code design and art. She works on the marketing stuff. Her effectiveness continues to go up. 
His is at 150. His is his satisfaction is dropping as is his effectiveness. I don't know why, but it happens sometimes. She's super unstressed. He may not always get along with everyone. And each each person has a personality. But like this guy's 20 years old, 20 years old. She's 20 years old and he's 22. So we're definitely a young company. My quality's horrible, but like for the first day we're doing fairly well. So she's working on a press release and they're working on designing picture perfect. It's going to take us a long time to design it, but that's just the way it goes. Quality is bad. That's not too bad. So it'll work until the day is over, and then we do this for a while, and we watch the money tick away. So savings accounts, stocks, loans, subsidi subsidiaries, plots. We could start putting money into a savings account. So what we do is we can do that by allocating, let's say, 8000 well, we, right now we just deposit 2000 into the savings account. So, you know, that'll, uh, that'll keep us going for a little bit, even though we're going to lose, it's like 5000 a month. Let's see what the cost is. Yeah, so it'd be 6000 a month. That includes six, like 12000 licensing fees and also 15000 in contract. So if we, we're going to be losing quite a bit of money per month and 2000 construction. So, you know, we just take it. If we need to take some contract work, what we can do is we can pause, hit the this button here to pause development, and we can take on contract work for a little bit. But right now, everyone will start getting better at their assigned jobs. We'll see this guy throughout the day. Come on, click on him. His satisfaction is actually pretty high at the end of the day, which is good to see it. They're still at like the 180s. You can see it start to go down throughout the day. It could be his social, yeah, social need is not being met. So we might start doing, we might put together a meeting room so they can meet, which will cost a little bit of money, but will be good in the long run. I think they all carpool together still. Let's finish the, finish the month out. Hey, it's a green card this time. I wonder whose that is. We'll finish the month out and then we'll go to, uh, we'll build ourselves a little meeting room next door, which is gonna be fun. Um, I'm gonna turn room labels on. Turn on and off ceiling fixtures. All right. So we're going to pause for a second. Well, we'll just leave it running at speed one. Oops. Click out of the window again. Uh, build mode. We're going to select you and we're going to lease that for 480 a month. We're going to get ourselves an end table. I'm going to put the walls back up so I know where the doors are. I'm going to put this here so you can see out of it. We're going to. <laughs> Come on. Click that. No, we're going to. Move that there. I want these to be connected. Maybe they can't be. That's fine. Yes. We'll sell these furniture for the money we just paid for it. And then we'll go back to this size grid, which is the one I want anyway, and then put in our end table here, and we'll do an end table here. So we have a little round conference room table. Or we won't. We'll just you know, we'll just do this. Furniture. There we go, it aligns that way. Cool, perfect. We'll move it just sort of closer to the window so people can sit near the window. Put our little Cheap chairs around here because people won't sit here long. Put our lead at the head of it. We will limit. Oh, that's not what we're doing yet. Um, we're going to put a water cooler in the meeting room. Sort of stick one in the corner. It can't be reached. We'll put it here. That works. Let's put in, oh, we can put a bookshelf in here, which helps people's effectiveness. We don't have room for a bookshelf if we block the window. We can just stack it right there. That looks adorable. All right, um, we're gonna put a little plant in a corner because everyone likes a plant in the corner. Gonna put some more beautiful ceiling lights in. Hold shift to duplicate. Places where people can get to it to repair it. 
put a couple paintings up. And then the most important part of any meeting room, the clock. So you don't run your meeting over in case other people have to use it. I actually want the clock where that painting is, so this painting will go right there. Perfect. I think that's all we need for a meeting room. So we go out of build mode, right click, um, limit room usage for meeting, and then switch team, this will be a core team, boom. So it's our core meeting room. And this will be just the core. And we'll go to the next day. And we have $64,000. Quality is currently good on our project, which is excellent. And the press release will be nice. The goal is to get the press release done right before we release, like the month before. So the press release will announce the release date, so it'll start building hype. But we'll see how it goes. Um, environment is still 200%, but we will call it cleaning. We'll probably call it cleaning now, actually. So we can either hire a cleaner, which is a thousand dollars a month, or we can just call them for a hundred bucks an hour, which is what we'll do. And they shall come in at some point, probably the end of this day, and then clean. Just, you know, to keep me happy. Quality is outstanding. And employees not having their social needs, needs met. Why aren't they having their social needs met? Oh, because she sits in the corner. How is your social? Your social need is okay. Yours is lacking. So maybe what they should do. Why are you not meeting is my question. Let's... Maybe you need more chairs to meet? I don't know. Just in case. We'll do that. Let's see if we actually have a meeting. Wait till this fills up. Start developing. Um, I think what we're going to do is soon, we want to release our press release soon. Otherwise, no one will follow our, our software. So let's just give it a day. We'll release it in the beginning of August. She's not social, and why are we not meeting is my question. Maybe they can't get to the table? I don't know. Let's try it. What if we move you sort of over there? So you're easier to get to. Because core team should be meeting. Oh, we don't have a team lead. That's why. I'm gonna hire a designer so I can use my executive as a team lead. Without a lead, you won't meet. That's something I probably should have thought of before. So what we'll do is we'll go build. We'll put in a new desk. There's not really any good place to put this person. So we'll put him sort of here. It may block stuff. We may have to get rid of the couch, actually. Here we go. We're gonna hire a designer to help us design. Or we can hire a team leader, since we're gonna do a lot of the design work. Let's let's hire a team leader. I like the founder should really be the leader. We're gonna hire a designer. Specialization, they're gonna be a 2D designer. I don't really care about specialization. Personality is more important. So these people have good compatibility. We have the youngest option. They'll learn quickly. And then you assign furniture to Mr. Gardner. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh look, see they're meeting at the water cooler. So I guess we don't need that. Also cleaning never came. Call cleaning, oh I called maintenance, that's why, lol, 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 lol. There goes cleaning. Goodbye. We'll skip unused time, and now what we're going to do... Two employees went on vacation. Oh, it's August, so they're on vacation. So we're going to manage employees. Gardener. 
We're going to manage your roles. You're not going to be a marketer. And Mr. Cook, we're going to make you a leader as well. So we have a designated designer as well. So we have a whole team who can lead. We have an actual team leader. So it means we'll go to meetings. Development will take longer, but the team will be happier as a result. Yeah, they don't wait till the boss leaves before they leave. It's a pretty laid back company. I like that our marketer gets a couch in their office place. What we could do is just build a lounge too, but we're really tight on cash. Truman Moreno called in sick. Uh, let's release a press release. No, we want to release... Announce our press date. Uh, we'll release in March. We're gonna, I guess we'll do a press release later. So if a couple of people are on vacation, we have a two person team now. I guess people take vacation in July and August, which is fine. But I actually don't know, we could review our, here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna review it. We're gonna have the team review. Core team's gonna review our product. We'll have an internal code review. Four reviews finished. Five reviews. I guess they're reviewing from home. Alright, the art is bad and the code is bad. <laughs> Very high positive bias, so we'll keep working on it. You have till March to release it. So if we keep working basically until that point, we still have $53,000. So we're doing fine financially. Did two of our employees quit? Oh no, they're on vacation for all of August. Lol, I know how to play this game. I've been playing this game for a long time. So yeah, looking at our, losing about 11,000 a month right now, probably be 12,000 with our current hires. So they'll give us Actually, not the, not that much more time. We should change our release date. Let's look at our previous month. So we do twelve thousand a month. We have three more months of. We have told December, so we are going to. Do some logistics application, contract work. We're going to pause work on Picture Perfect. So we're going to work on the McCarr Fan Corp. Contract. We do our code and art stuff. Go to our meeting, finish it up and go home. And the next day we'll finish up this contract. Just, you know, cause we, we really could use the money. Do a lot of art on it. 50, you're almost at 69 for art. Promote it and then we'll Work on it till the end of the day. And why are you having the meeting now? People go home. Let's release it. There, we made 7,000. It'll keep us afloat a little bit longer. And then we're going to manage teams. We'll do a nine to five. How's that? People will work nine to five. I don't know what comp means. So, perfect. So we'll start working nine to five, vacation July, August. The contract just keep us afloat a little bit longer. I know, he's just the founder's just meeting with himself. We'll probably take one contract a month just to keep our finances fairly stable. We have $50,000 exactly. March. Let's see. Elsa's called in sick, that's fine. You can survive without a marketer, having their team meeting in the morning, which is good. Good job, guys. Do some programming, 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 typey, typey, typey. All right, I want you guys to, I want to outsource our review. It'll be a hundred bucks per review, so we'll get like, we get 10 reviews, that'd be nice. Oh, that's way more. $3,500. 1.8 of 10. So it's not great. 
Okay, let's work on it a little bit longer. Let's do some... I know I'm headed towards bankruptcy. We'll accept some game asset work. It's all artwork. We'll... See if we can work on Picture Perfect at the same time. No, we'll pause Picture Perfect and work, do our artwork together. Waste an hour in a meeting. Meeting's probably necessary with the thing here, but it does increase effectiveness. We'll finish it the next day. Adolf's sick, that's fine. I don't really need a designer when we're doing this contract. Oh god, don't do, have an afternoon meeting. We're about to finish this. Promote it and then finish the day. Oh, no bugs to fix. Release. Do ten thousand dollars. So I think what we'll do. So code is four point eight. Arts one point three. If we want to see how much we have to do, we can go develop software. Go back to two D editor. Oops, not audio tool. And so if this is what we'd want, so we want about seven code units and three art units. So we're nearly halfway there. And it's October. We'll make it by March. I think we'll be fine. Um, and we'll look at, yeah, we're doing all right. Let's take one more contract. Let's just finish up this month with the systems contract. And then we'll work on our thing since the, after that. The cow fan embedded system, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and develop that. Takes very little code to do this one. Except you're all always in meetings. So we'll skip on use time. We'll promote it. We'll release that, work on that. We have 37 followers, so I want market. We could put together a press build or we could just hype it. Let's put together, let's just hype our product. So our marketer's not doing anything. So if we go back to market, we'll put together a press build. Actually, we probably don't want to. We'll probably do another press release that works on more of the things. So our uh, press release has been mentioned. So target demographic doesn't really know who Snaggle Software is. Development on Picture Perfect is underway and it's cutting edge. There's no eye candy in the press release. Doesn't inspire confidence in the product's quality. That's fine. Plan to release at March of 81. So. We've got a lot of work to do. We're two code units left till we're done. I think we're gonna have the money to finish it. Release that. Yeah, we got $53,000. So, we're doing all right. Rodrigo's out sick for the first week of November, which is fine. I should probably give people like paid vacation, huh? Our follower count is 45. That's not bad. People will buy this. 46 now. So we're increasing followers, which is great. So wait till my, I have six code things. Oh guys, November, we have till March. I think we'll be okay. And financially we're not doing too bad. We did make 7,000 in October. Thanks to some good contract work. I think we're not gonna hit all three art units, but we are gonna get to seven code units. What I could do is once I hit seven code units, transfer everyone over to do artwork, which I think is probably what I'll end up doing. So we get that, I think it's three art units to develop this 2D editor. Yeah, three art units will make it a average quality. And that's kind of what I'm going for. I don't wanna overdo it. Especially since November, we wanna release in March. We'll polish it up. It'll be a, really polished turd when we're done. We may want to do another contract. We'll probably take a month off to do contract work before we, maybe after we finish development, we'll do a whole bunch of contract work because that should help out a bit. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Let's see, everyone's typey typey. This is a lot of, I know it's kind of boring, but everyone just sort of powers through their day. Um, he wants $86, yeah, sure. All right, yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to take a contract. We're gonna have to take a couple contracts. Embedded systems. Accept work. Let's pause on picture perfect. We do have until March to do it. Ends December. I guess that's only three months. We need a couple contracts. Um, also call cleaning. 
And we'll call maintenance and IT support so they can fix stuff. Let's develop, call and get your code work done. I'm really nervous about my financial situation. It's not inspiring confidence right now. Can you work on that, please? Fix bugs throughout the day while you do that. Keep working. All right, we're just gonna get through the day. We'll release that for a little bit of cash. We're gonna take another contract, do some more embedded system work. Pause, picture perfect. So we're losing some amount of our followers per month, but our marketing department's working on that. Tweak chicken carrot. Develop, please. These meetings are killing our productivity. Probably shouldn't have put in a meeting room, but I think we'll survive. We'll finish this before the new year. We'll release it right before, release this product at the end of December. This, not this product, but this contract at the end of December. And I think what we're gonna do is release, and we're just gonna go ahead and promote this to beta. Just because we need the money. Elisa, Elsa, Elisa Perkins is out sick, that's fine. We'll release this press release, so we can have a little more, some more followers. Um, large growth this month for Age Street. They made $13 million. So they're worth $56 million. Um, the press release don't show anything. It looks like it's made by a child. So they just released in March of 81. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll work, work with that. Any software would be, you know, software is important. Losing followers per month, but... Picture Perfect is in beta. We'll have till March to polish it. We're gonna push their, release it up to February. So we're gonna go up to February. We're gonna start taking contract work to make a little bit of money. So we're gonna fix bugs while getting contract work. We're gonna hype our product which I think will be fine. All right, I think we're doing well. So we have two more weeks to, two more days in quote, two more weeks to finish up the, you know, fix all of our bugs. We'll keep working on contracts. Oh my God, this meeting. And promote, or develop. Work late into the night, skip forward a bit. It's day four of January, we're about to release our product. Six, nine, promote into beta. And at the end of the day, we'll release this and then release this the next day. It'll be very exciting. Let's get that, we have 44,000. All right, skip is February 1st and we are going to release Picture Perfect. Want to start a marketing campaign? Yes, please. We'll do a $200 marketing. What's our budget for Picture Perfect? Let's do $500. Real low budget. Um, oh, we need to print copies. I forgot about that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rent this place out. We're gonna build a printing studio. We're gonna have a disc printer, which is $20,000? Are you kidding me? I wonder if I can order copies. We're gonna build a, how much is a pallet? 200 bucks. We're gonna have a pallet to hold stuff, first off. And then we're going to, can I order copies? Distribution. Coming releases. 
all software may have done this wrong. Type 2D editor. Picture perfect. Details. Units. Physical copies. Order copies. Customer reaches 1.5 million. Let's order. That's a lot of copies. How many copies do we want? Is it two dollars a copy? So four hundred dollars. I want to spend thousands. If we were five thousand copies. It'd be ten thousand dollars. Let's do twenty-five hundred copies. Hopefully that goes into our budget. And then that's the wrong button. Since it's day one, we're gonna need a new. We need to make some money to embedded systems. We'll accept the work for that. How do I, ordering the copies, do they come to the palette? That's my question. Does it actually work to order copies? Um, let's call the cleaning. All right. Let's see if we actually make any money whatsoever. Not time for downloads yet. No, we can't download yet, it being 1981. Um, I wanna find your releases. In stock 2500. So, we, oh, we do have a publisher then. So there's 2500 in stock, zero in storage. We don't need the palette yet. But the next day we'll see if we actually sell any. So we're gonna focus on not going bankrupt right now. Which I think is a fun thing to focus on. We'll see if we make any money. Our marketing person is doing is marketing every day. We're doing support work. Huh? We made some money. Where is this? Interest? No, where's $300 in sales. Look at that, we sold 300 copies. Or $300 of it. Our product's been reviewed. We haven't heard of Snaggle Software, and they're pretty new in the graphics scene. I guess Picture Perfect is okay. A very complex piece of craftsmanship that runs smoothly. It's packed full of art, but it's poor. Keep in mind that Fist Limited has Vector Edit 5 on the market, which might affect interest. Seems the dev left behind some bugs. We have a hard time supporting it. In conclusion, Picture Perfect might be worth the price. We don't expect it to sell very well. They still need to make a name for themselves in the market. They should up their marketing game. All right, well the thing is that we're not gonna up our marketing game. Not time, yeah, before you were born. 1980 was way before I was born. By that I mean eight years. 1981 is seven years, because I was born in 88. Promote that. We can probably just release it and when this goes into beta, we can just release it without fixing bugs. There we go, make some money. We'll do this quicker. Do some game, uh, assets. So we're going to support Picture Perfect, the 12 active users of it. And we're going to work on contracts. 16 issues for 12 active users is not great. 6.81 art units? Oh man. It'll be a long time to finish that. One. Hopefully we can get it done in time. It's game assets. Our company business reputation is two though, which is good. We have 13 active users, that's not a lot. Our marketing is sparse. Marketing budget is gonna be a thousand a week, just to give us a little more of a marketing push. So we're running support and doing work on the pit sausage. But it should be all right. Truman's, we're, yeah, we're losing a lot of money. Even with contract stuff, we're losing money. Um, Cause we're not selling any copies of it. Yeah, let's change our marketing budget. Let's not market it. And then we're going to our marketer, we're gonna fire our marketer. So we really don't need marketing.
right now we don't need to have a marker. We just need... We could hire a new artist for this kind of stuff. I think we're good. We're just going to work on doing contract stuff. One day left. Oh, man. We're not going to get this done. Maybe we don't have to do it all the way. Maybe we don't have to do, like, half of it. Let's see what happens. We don't have a marketer anymore, so that should be good. We have 15 active users for doing our support. We do the best we can on this. And we'll promote this now, and then we'll release it. There should be no bugs, so we can just push it through and release it today. Oh, we made $1,000, so it wasn't really worth it. Um, contract work. Logistics application. 0.7 code units. That's exactly what I wanted. Alright, we'll do some more contract work for a while, because it didn't... We were still doing support. But... Contract work will be, I think, what makes us money right now so we can get back up enough to try another piece of software. Because our skills aren't really good. We probably need a bigger team for that. We need dedicated team members, I think. So, two days left designing mixed street shop limiteds, logistic application. We'll develop that. 0.7 code units should be done today or the next day. Boom. Do you guys do beta, please? Oh. We'll finish it first thing in the morning. Look at them all carpooling into work together. They're like best friends. We'll release that, and we'll grab a new contract. Alright, except work. A lot of money in these contracts. We're heading for bankruptcy. That's good to know. We didn't make any money last year, which sucks. I mean, $300 off sales, so we've made money off sales, but not like actual money off sales. Which is not good. Um, quality will drop. I think what we should do is, we're doing all of our support too, so let's dig into our, uh, our contract time. But, we'll see. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> As someone who's worked in the software industry, it's not a bug, it's a feature. So we're gonna do contract work to make money because we need it. Because we currently didn't make a lot of splash with our first software, it's a bit of a commercial failure. We'll finish this piece of software today. You know how happy these guys work, look. There we go. We're back in the positive spin of things. Big expenses, we pay a lot in salaries, 8,000 per year. We only made a little bit in contract and interest. And not a lot in sales. Look at the charts. This is our um, cash balance here. This is like our salary cost. It's a lot of money. So let's grab a new contract for the day. Let's do some game 2.12. Oh, we do logistic application, except work. We're gonna go in all up close and personal and take a look at our teammates as they work. So we do have this extra desk here. So I could hire a designer. I have an artist, a designer, a programmer, and a space for a marketer. Hmm. I don't know. I could hire more people. Hey, we painted the car blue this time. Let's see. Let's just do some contracts for a bit and see how that works for the team. We're still supporting our 14 users of picture perfect and if we look at our releases you can see that its quality is mediocre we lost nearly seventy thousand dollars on it so it was a big 42 units sold 41 refunds let's uh cancel support for it let's be refunded all but one copy which is absolutely lame and we're gonna do the one thing we know how to do which is contracts for tons of cash. I think I'm going to get rid of the meeting room because it just wastes development time. So here's what I'm going to do is terminate the lease. And if you want to talk to your friends, you can talk around the water cooler like normal people. There we go. Oh, and this too. We're going to terminate the lease on that because I don't really need all of that stuff. 
we'll fix some bugs. We'll finish the day fixing bugs. And then May will be a lot of... Oh, we still meet though. We meet outside. That's kind of cool. Um, manage employees. Your roles, change roles, you won't be, we don't need a lead. Actually, we still still need a leader. Leaders are important. Okay. And then he's off. Let's release. $8,000. Things are looking green again. 16,000, 2.1, expected quality, good. Provided two artists. Two point, we can, yeah, we can do that. We need 2.1 art units. We'll have you guys all learn some art stuff. It'll be fun. Yeah, four days to do two art units, it's easy. Because in one day we're gonna do, wow, close to that actually. One and a half art units in a day. What a happy afternoon meeting. All right, core team, let's get going. Two point one promote delay until we have no thingamajigs. Right, the one person's gonna hope that twenty years from now he'll get a hell of a lot of money for the only remaining copy of Picture Perfect. Let's see. Um, there's still twelve active users, so we've sold forty-eight and refunded forty-five. I guess that means, and yet there are twelve active users. Are people pirating our software? That suck. Maybe they refunded it, but are still using it, which is entirely possible. I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. It should be picture unperfect. Oh, let's release inadequate quality. Eh, we still made 14,000. Do logistics application. And you know, our company business reputation is going up. So the Snaggle software is definitely I don't know, we're a thing. There's so many units in stock. We could probably support it to a new operating system and then support that. I don't really want to port it to anything. I want to work on my logistics application. Two-man meeting. Why are you guys meeting? We're gonna zoom in on our team when they get to work. So here's our buddy. What's his face? Here's the founder. Here's another guy. Adolf Gardner is our designer. He's got a mustache. Rodrigo Frazier. I like his Face. I don't know. He's 23 years old. How old is this guy? 21, Truman Moreno. They're good guys, you know. They do good work. Let's see if we can get this done in a day. Yes, Rome wasn't built in a day, but this program was. Excellent work, guys. Floppy was a thing in 81, I believe. I think the big floppies, but there were still floppy disks. Discs. $8,000. We probably don't need this many people. We're making a lot more money off of these contracts now that we're like a legit team that people like. I want to call cleaning, but they keep pressing the wrong things. These computers are like 70 some percent. Coffee maker's good. Lamp's good. I think we're all right. We don't need to call maintenance or anyone called cleaning. Having a little meeting outside. Talking about the business. We had to let our marketing person go, unfortunately. Yeah, the five and a quarter inch flop, flop, sloppies. Floppies were great. And someone's banging around downstairs. Logistics application. What is someone's like banging on my floor? I don't know what they're up to downstairs. Maintenance guys are getting pissed off to keep calling them to clean the toilet. <laughs> Sorry, maintenance. Here's a little, we'll call maintenance, IT support. 
let them figure this stuff out. IT. IT can come fix our, oh, I guess when we're using our computers, IT can't actually fix them, so it'll be expensive. I probably should have also released this at some point. Truman Moreno's out sick, but we can do some game assets. 2.12, 2.1, quality mediocre. Is there any quality bad? Horrible. Let's do that. Let's do some horrible game assets. We're only missing our programmer. So we do have a full team. We could do, you know, we could, I wish we could outsource marketing. I don't know, we could have a whole like, try another piece of software. I want a lot of money so I can expand and build a bigger team and that team can work better to build a piece of software. That's what I want. All right, you can release that and we'll, might as well just get started on some embedded systems. We'll get started today and finish it up in the next couple of weeks. This is, I know this is super boring. We don't quite have the money to get the, get a good solid uh, piece of software out. Soon we will. Oh, people are on vacation again. Why don't you go on vacation? Room is nice and quiet. Yeah, because people are out. Hopefully these guys can get through this contract on their own. I'm assuming they can. They're talented, smart individuals. Hmm. Employee benefits, we're still paying 10 a month. I should pay them for vacation. Give them one month of vacation and pay them 50% for it? I don't know. We'll wait on that. Let's see if we can get this done today. Ooh, we're going to be cutting this one close with half our staff out. Meeting for one. Good job, Mr. Cook. Let's develop it. I think we'll be fine to get this out. We have a whole month to complete it. One day left. We just finish, finish this off for the day. Or don't. We'll promote to beta and we'll release it. We made five grand, that's not great, but it's something. Um, let's, game assets, 2.12, 2.13, 2.11. Mediocre or do bad stuff or do more embedded system work, yeah, that'll be easier. So as you can see, doing contract work, let's do the sheet. Um, and we've made, you know, 26,000 in June and 34,000 contract stuff in May. And we're paying about 10,000 in salaries and, you know, bills and stuff. So we're doing okay for what we've got. We have four days left to do this, which we can do it in. It's nice because it gives you a month from when you take the Take the, um, what you call it, the contract. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I really enjoy this game. So if you manage our employees, we can see when they vacation. So Jack Cook doesn't, he goes July for Truman and Rodrigo and Adolf go in August, which is cool. You can see how old they are and how long they've worked here. 24, 22, 21, 21, so they're young. Rodrigo has really worked on his design code skills and his art skills are pretty good. Truman Moreno has become a much better coder. And Adolf's got actually pretty good at everything and Jack Cook is improving his skills. We could also educate. We could like educate Truman as a programmer and do like two months specializing him in 2D stuff. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll send him on a programming education mission. Because we really don't need everyone. 
working at the same time. We can have a team of three to pull this stuff off. We'll rush it through beta and release it just to get... It's not going to get a bunch of cash. So we we'll still have all the bugs. But it'll get enough. Let's accept this. Let's take the most difficult thing we can. Yeah, I... I like this game because it's super chill even though we're like, you know, powering. It's already August of 81. Oh, we were down one employee. That's fine. He'll be back at some point and he'll be better educated. We'll educate our designer next and then finally our artist. So, once we're back up to three employees, we'll start educating. I do. Oh, we put it for a couple months, didn't we? I can't remember that. We'll have plenty of time. Yeah, this will be fine. Should have done a single month of education. Release. Inadequate quality. Eh. We'll do some more game assets. Get our game assets in gear. Yeah. I like this game because it is relaxed, but it can get very complicated and very fun. Like it, it changes tone as you add more employees. Like right now, we're just making money. We lost money because we paid for, what was it, benefits for education. I think that's fine. I think we pay. So we do pay vacation 100%. Pension is ten dollars a month. They get one month of vacation. And they do get free food. Severance pay will be twenty five percent on termination. Oh, we could get a company car. A Christmas bonus? Oh yeah, let's do a twenty five percent Christmas bonus. I think that's nice. We're gonna make our people happy. We want them to like working here. Probably won't get through this today, but if we do, that'd be wonderful. Nope, not quite. It's adorable. No bugs to fix for release. There's eleven thousand dollars right there. Oh yeah, 15,000 for logistics application. I don't under, someone is really banging on the ground or banging on the unit below me. That's interesting, you can feel it. City sausage, logistics application for city sausage. I wonder if they're a sausage maker, probably. Look at these hard worker bees. It's all good. We're having a meeting outside because it's September. Sorry, and we're just gonna go through this promote. Spend the rest of the day fixing bugs to make us some more money. Because bugs cost money, it turns out. Have a good night. Bye, bye employees. $10,000 with inadequate quality. Psh, quality was fine. Um, let's do, let's, Finish September with something super easy. With this logistics application. This will be our last thing. And then maybe in the end of 81, we'll start working on a new piece of software. Might be fun. Maybe we'll work on something. Or maybe we'll move and open our own office and not rent. I think that's probably what we'll end up doing. You heard it on mobile when smoking, but not on your laptop. Oh, it's back and it's loud and yeah, I don't know why someone's banging on downstairs, but they are. And that's what they've chosen to do with their day. That's fine by me. Let's see, 69, promote. Do some bug fixing, spend the whole day fixing bugs. Why not? Just do some bug fixing today. You'll be fine. You'll love it. Alright. 
All right, let's take a look. It's October of 81. We could move the company to an empty lot in the city. Or sort of out into a town. I think it'd be fun. Let's move to the city. Let's find a temperate spot. We'll build an empty lot. Generation string will be JN1987. Cost us 50,000. We can afford that. All right, so we now own property. How do I see how much property we own? This is it. This is our current area. We're going to build a rectangle room. We're going to build... That's so expensive. I didn't realize how expensive this would be, and I've made a mistake. Okay, $53,000, so we're going to spend... $31,000 on that. We're going to build a bathroom. I'm going to put a door in here. Double glass door in here. Let's do a single. Let's do a single. Let's do just a single door. And then we're going to. We need windows. A little like. A wide window, we don't need a whole window. A little like bathroom window in there. Put a wide window in here. And maybe a normal window back here. Do a double. Um, dismantle. There we go, we'll do that. And we're going to go do <clears throat> room construction material. Exterior will be flats, interior will be just a cool wall. The floor will be, I guess, like a wood thing. I should probably the apply button. You, room construction materials. Floor will be Oh, exterior will be slats, floor will be tile. Apply. Room colors, exterior will be like that. Interior will be sort of like a cool, like a subtle, almost a sienna, burnt sienna. And the floor will be like a light pale wood color. I want a little more orange, right? There. Apply you. Room colors. Exterior will be the same as that. Interior will be what it currently is. The interior is going to be like a real soft blue. Apply. Now we're going to build. Oh, I want to go back to build mode. And do furnish. I want to build. Let's just sort of go through. We're going to have a little radiator. It'll be over here. A little ventilation. A little, yeah, a little ventilation unit. Over here where it's gonna be noisy. If I run out of money doing this, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Um, I just could've bought a whole AC unit, but. Central heating? No, I need. What else do I need? I'm, let's just go one by one. Bathroom. A toilet. Over here, please. Do I not need anything? Can I have a sink? A little light in there. Let's, I don't like what that light is. Let's move it. Let's have this. And let's center it. Yeah, you're fine. Break room.
You have to place furniture inside your room. You have to place furniture in outdoor areas. What? Oh, I know. I got it. It's fine. I have to put a fence in. We'll do three by three. And we'll have an opening right there, and then we'll go back to furnish, and we'll do break room. That's not enough room. Is there an edit room button? Destroy room. Yes. Oh, that broke everything. All right, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Let's not do that. Let's have... A table. And we're gonna just we're just gonna do it this way. Coffee maker, coffee maker. How many points do I have? Four. Let's do that. Let's have a little like that. We'll put the executive chair. Here, I'll put this chair here. I don't want people seated like that. Seated, seated like that. Whoops. All right, we're just gonna do a little quick switcheroo because I did this all wrong. I also want that for later. We're gonna put art station, programming station, then we'll have our like leadership group over here. We'll do that for our leader, for us. Um, we need a vending machine, sort of in like the kitchen area. Oh, I have plenty of money left over, except to pay salaries. I think that's all I need to begin. Right? Oh, we need lighting. I have a little, we'll have a little wall lamp sitting over here. Let's see about starting a contract. What's something we can do quickly for money? Except, let me do a sign seat so you will be Jack Cook. You will, oh god, who are my employees? I don't know who's my designer. Fraser is the artist, so we go here and we go assign to, oh nope, just this one. Assign to Fraser. Moreno's the coder and the other guy's the designer. So you I should know my employees' names assigned to Moreno and Gardner gets that one. Perfect. That's the wrong button. We do this and we go. Everyone has to take the bus. Oh, I should build parking. Ah, I clicked out of the window again. All right, I'm still learning Alpha 10, 6 stuff. No sink, but hygiene. No, they don't need a sink. I don't think sink is necessary. Um, I want... A ramp? I can build a ramp? No. $5,000 for that. Oh, there goes all my money. It's fine. We'll make lots of money this month. No one's coming to work today. Okay, we may go bankrupt. We need to do this in now and the next day. So let's just quickly power through this, make some cash. Develop, please. 
Like they all drive in the same car. Promote, delay, fix all of the bugs, and hopefully this will get us through. If we fix all of the bugs, that should get us through the day. Go home. Release. That should be enough money to get us through the next month. Salaries will be 9,000. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We made it. Ooh, we're cutting it close. Let's start doing some more contracts. Let's accept this embedded systems contract. I like this office. It's not very exciting. It's also getting dirty very quickly. Environment is 102%. So the first thing we're going to do when we finish this contract is decorate. Because everyone needs decorations. Let's start decorating. What do we need? We need a ceiling fan. Just, you know, because everyone needs a ceiling fan to cool off. We're going to build, build. We're going to place a plant in the corner. We're going to put a clock in so these guys know what time it is. Put the clock over the radiator. We're gonna put a couple pretty, put a bookshelf in a corner somewhere. Put a bookshelf right here. And then put a couple pretty paintings in. One over there and then one sort of over on this wall. Perfect. Excellent. I am heading towards bankruptcy, I'm aware of that. We'll finish the beta of this. Cause the temperature's perfect. Oh, too much noise. Currently, what does ventilation do again? I may want to get rid of that. It takes air directly from the other side of a wall. This pretty, so what we're going to do is actually, we're going to delete that. Move that sort of here, maybe? Add ventilation. Okay, never mind. I do need ventilation, so I'll put ventilation back in over there. And hope that this fan doesn't create too much noise. Actually, we'll probably sell sell the fan, because I don't want it to create noise to distract my employees. So we'll see if that helps. And yeah, the environment is much better now, although it's still kind of dirty. I'm still heading towards bankruptcy. Look at all the bugs they're fixing. They all take the same car home, but they get in it at different times, which I don't understand. <laughs> Game assets. See, yeah, let's do these assets. It's cash. Oh, I, they're not sorted by income. That's my problem. All right. Well, I like that we've got like a building here. I am going to build I'm going to build a 4 by whatever goes right up to the door. And I'm going to put an opening here in the middle. And then we're going to put in a picnic bench so they can hang out outside and picnic. Look, now they can meet. It's perfect. I know I'm heading towards bankruptcy. I'm fixing it. It's fine. See? It's November. It'll be December soon. Remember, I have to give them a Christmas bonus. Promote. Release it. 10,000 buckaroonies. Work on this logistics app. Ventilation is good. Helps with things like fungus. Yeah. 151. Let's call a cleaner. Let's see what else can I do? Let's look at our employees. See how they're doing overall. 
Gardner's really good at design. Truman's coding class did some good work. Frazier, I'm actually going to educate you. You're going to get a month of 2D art work. So enjoy. Enjoy your month off doing art stuff. Nice little time for a meeting outside. It's 37 degrees outside and they had a meeting. Alright, everyone wants a pretty big raise. I'll accept. Except all enclosed. So plus one, plus 300, plus 396? Yeah. Well, I kind of want more parity. So Frazier, I'm 2000. Truman Moreno, you're going to get not as much of a raise as you asked for. I'm going to get you up to 3800. Gardner, you're going to get to 3700. Because I want these people to have parity eventually. You can get 2100 just because. And then, yeah, you're going to go 38. They know it's not a big raise, but it'll be good for you. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies have been acting up a lot lately. Develop. Perfect. All right, we're doing well. So promote that, and then we'll spend the rest of the day fixing bugs, then we'll release it and have tons of money. I don't actually think I'm heading towards bankruptcy. I spent that $84,000, yeah, if that was, you know, on moving and such. Our bills have been a lot less because we're not, play not playing rent, not paying rent. But we have positive income in December so far. I think we should be okay. We don't have our artist, so we're gonna wanna stay away from artwork. Cause he's off for December doing his uh his um, training. Yeah, picnic in December wouldn't fly here either, it looks like. But that's the way it is. Oh no, I didn't pay attention, dang it. Hopefully we get our money. Oh, you can do it next week. I like having the weeks. Good, another picnic when it's cold outside. Hopefully we can make up for it with fixing bugs. So basically our office is a tiny little office, but we own our own building. Which is all that matters. And we're back to doing contract work. Let's do some embedded systems work. A little bit of a bigger job than we're used to, but I think we'll be okay to do it. All right. I'll keep a track of the design phase. The Christmas bonus is going to be, I think, pretty expensive. Let's do that. Oh, let's just, you know what? We'll just, as soon as you come in the morning, develop it. Let's finish the design stuff. Probably have to finish this the next day. Or maybe not. We'll let them do some beta work, do some fix some bugs before we release it. So yeah, this, uh, this game is a lot of this. A net worth of 1200. Why is it so bad? Maybe I didn't hit the quality level enough. Yeah, my artist is back. So having people who aren't skilled on something working on it kind of makes it more difficult to do, but like... I don't know, it's always nice to... It builds skill for all of your employees to have to work and everything together. So... They're all slowly getting better at their jobs, which is exactly what I want. There's 8,000. Gardner's out sick. Employee benefits. They get pretty good about this. 10 bucks a month pension isn't necessarily big. So we have $42,000. I'm going to put 
12,000 of that into my savings account to try and earn a little more interest. But so we have $14,067 in our savings. Dirt floor call maintenance. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, we will we'll call maintenance cleaning. We'll call IT at the end of the day. Oh, these aren't doing anything. I forgot to get a contract. You guys want to do some game assets? Should be good. Maintenance is out of here because they're not actually doing any work because we're fine. They should probably call maintenance when stuff's broken. So who do I want to send? I don't want to send my artist. This guy's got better base design skill than my designer does. So I should send my designer, I'm going to send him on a month long design course. He's going to work on system design because that's his weakest. 600 bucks. Should be fine. There goes our cleaner helping out. Our computers are doing fine. 83%. 85, 83. Yeah, we're fine. 1.8. Oh, we almost got it. Finish it the next day. The next week, I should say. Or have a meeting outside in February. Boop, promote that. No bugs to fix. So release that and we'll grab a new contract. Oh yeah, let's good work on embedded systems. See if we can pull this off. Oh, this is gonna take a lot longer to do. Especially with our designer out. I wonder if we can actually pull it off. Not with all these meetings we're gonna take. We may fail this contract, which is fine. You know, we'll get the next one. Business reputation is still pretty good. And we have money. We'll do the best we can for this. Yeah, two days left. We're not gonna get it with our, our designer out. But it'll be good work. People will learn a lot about design. At the end of the day, we'll promote it anyway. We'll just develop it. Try to get the work done today and then, you know, we may not get the money, but if we fix the bugs, it should help out a bit. Maybe the quality won't be good, but we'll see what we can do. And eh, we made nine grand. I'm not gonna snuff at that. Ooh. It's a lot of money, but it's also difficult. We'll keep doing these low ones. So our, we haven't been making as much money as I've wanted to, because we have been spending some on like salaries, staff pay. We made 11,000 on contracts in January. We paid, you know, 8,000 in salaries. Paid some bills, a little bit of distribution costs. We didn't really make a lot of contract money because one of our contracts is bad. So we're, we're going real slow right now in terms of the actual contract stuff. So, But we're slowly making money, you know, making a few thousand a month. It might be the sort of thing where we need to just like, I don't know, fire a couple of employees to stay afloat for a bit, but I think we'll survive. Get off Gardner sick again. Oh, I didn't get all the way to point nine, but we're going. Things are good, doing well. Things are going well. We're doing well. That's what I meant to say. Do, 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 do. This music's so pleasant. It does remind me of The Sims. There's more money. I wonder if there's any research we could do. Nothing to research. That's too bad. Three months. I don't really want to risk it. Features clock. Doing some more embedded systems work. No, oh, my al allergies are really act up. It's a little bit more difficult of a job, but we'll get through it. Probably won't finish it today. It's fine. 
I mean, basically. Spend the day bug fixing. I'll probably, yeah, at noon we'll release it. Eh, it's fine. Satisfactory. We'll do this one, except work. See if we manage our employees, see how their skills are doing. Design skills, okay. Rodrigo Frazier has actually learned how to code pretty well. Still good at art, but he's definitely all around good guy. So we have good design skill. We could probably put together another. We have basically two coders, an artist, a designer, and someone who's all right all around. We could probably put together a new piece of software once we've got some cash saved up. I think the $100,000 mark is good. Um, MSGN, thanks for coming by. Have a good night. Hopefully you enjoyed it, um, looks like you did. And I'll see you next time. Um, I'm streaming Skylines on Wednesday again. We're back with Bob, so I'll see you then. Have a good night. Until then, we will keep on everyone else. How's it going? How's everyone else doing? Hopefully you're having a good day. These guys are having a good meeting. It's April, it's 65 degrees outside. A room is dirty, needs cleaning. Promote. When these guys all go home, we'll get the room cleaned. It does look really dirty. I'm not keeping up on that. Release. Let's call cleaning. How are the computers? We need to call IT support? 72%? No, they're fine. We could buy a spare computer at desk in case one of them breaks. I don't know where we'd put it. In the corner where the ventilation is probably too loud. Maybe put another desk in here to have someone sitting off up there. I don't know. Probably over here. He's gonna hoover his way around. Clean the whole office. Hey there, Faye Hughes. This big afro cleaning the place. What are you doing, bud? Oh, well, whatever. It's the same license plate. So it's, I guess that the cleaner guy, everyone has the same license plate, which is cool. 5F7WR, soft, oh, I get it, it says software, guys. The five is an S, the seven is a T, the WR is where? Because it says software, anyway. All right, we can get ourselves a brand new contract. Three art units. Can we do that? Can we do three art units? I think we could. For 21K, we're gonna try it. Like a teal car. It's okay, our artist is the one who called in sick today, but I think we do three art units and as long as you get one today, I think we'll be fine. And remember, that's without our main artist. We won't have to do bait. Oh yeah, we'll do this fine. We could probably divide these guys into multiple teams and have them working on different contracts. Have a design team, a programming team, an art team, get like a bunch of employees who are just banging out contract after contract. It's not a bad idea, actually. Eight. Nine, three point seven, we and release. Nineteen thousand. That is money. Doing a logistics application for Cow Stop Corp. Probably make a bunch of like cow crossings, cattle guards, and whatnot. Look at this. Watch the world go by. Super speed. Develop. You get all, you're the clicky clacky. Promote. Oh, they get, didn't get to the beta period. That's too bad. It's May of 82, we released one software product and it was very poorly received. Let's do this game. Oh, it's a lot of art units, but let's do it. We can do it. Let's take a look at our releases. Six people. Six people still use Picture Perfect of the 97 units sold. We lost 66 grand on it, but I'm surprised six people still use it. It's been out for a year and three months, which is not bad. 
Maybe we'll make a sequel to it at some point. I don't know. What other software could we develop? Operating systems. We develop an audio tool as a music editor. And it's a 2D editor. We could use Picture Perfect as the 2D editor. We wouldn't need an artist. Three programmers, two designers. We could actually do this. Product name. What would we call the product? Um, I need a good audio tool name. Sonata. That's a good name. Default. We'll sell it for $75. SCM none. We'll add. Let's look at the active users. We'll do frame OS 5 and the door shade 3. Okay. I guess we could do this after our current contract. We need a marketing person still. I don't really want to hire another marketing person. Or we could just not market it. Expected interest is good. Customer reach is 2.2 million. Yeah, we could do that. Let's finish this contract. We'll hire a marketing person. I guess 100 grand isn't quite enough to develop software, as we found out the last time. We need a little more than that. Um, maybe we'll wait till we have 200 grand. We'll do this for a while, maybe another year of contract. What do we have 200 grand and then develop our audio tool and use our picture perfect as our sort of crappy 2D editor within it. Truman's out sick, that's fine. He can go out sick. We have plenty of other people to work. Three point six promote. Boop. Let's release it. There's some money. We'll start one more contract. Logistics app. I wonder if it'd be better to pound through a lot of cheaper, easier um, people like contracts, or if it's better to do these more difficult ones. I don't know. I guess they're just as easy, this ones just pay better. So we should probably keep with the better paying contracts. We do meet for an, like literally an hour. But we did pull this contract off in a day for $9,000, which is pretty decent. Seventeen thousand? Oh yeah. See it requires mediocre and we're doing alright. It's more pit corp logistics apps. I think right now we're in a good swing of making money. So two hundred K will take us if we're making twenty thousand, that'll be four more months. So September of eighty two we can start working on Yeah, and our bills are so low now. Look at that. Two oh one. They were like here we go, five eighty eight, five forty six. 550, 600, so seeing our bills drop a lot is encouraging. You guys want to keep developing on this or meet some more? Wapa. Right. A couple more months of this, we should be good. We'll do a lot of beta work. We'll release that. 14K, that's good money. And then do this 16,001 except work. The thing that we have a higher uh, business reputation. So you can see it's going up because of our contract work. It's what those green arrows mean. Vegas World. Urban Commando, what's up? I don't want to call a product Vegas World. As much as I like Vegas World, I don't want to call a product in this game that. I mean, maybe I should. I don't know. How's it going, man? It's good to see you. Happy uh, Sunday. My favorite day of the week. It's actually not true, but it's one of my favorite days of the week. Yo, Cap, says Urban Commando. Yo, Urban Commando, says me. That's a true story that just happened. We're trying to get to the magical $200,000 um, number so we can start developing our audio tool called Vegas World. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, happy Mother's Day to you too. Hopefully your mother is doing well. 
Uh, my mother is doing well. I saw her this morning. I was up at her place. It's a long drive, but it's totally worth it. I went Friday night. I didn't like just get there. But, oh, come on, you're so close to finishing it. At noon, we'll, we'll be done fixing bugs, I think. Or at least that, not a quick quality, meh. We're doing a lot of easy stuff now. We've done all the difficult contracts. Our team's pretty good. We're gonna clean, because it's, we should probably just clean like once a month. Call cleaning. Computers are at 50%. I think what I'm gonna do is, we'll call IT as well. How are, how's our radiator? 88, lights are good. Yeah, we'll call IT to fix our computers. The IT crowd. <clears throat> he goes out sick. Oh, and someone's on vacation? That's fine. We'll do this ourselves. So our artist and programmer are out. So we'll just have our designer. Adolf and I. Adolf Gardner and I, the designer, will just do all the coding. Which is slower. But I believe works pretty well. We can fix bugs together. All right, let's do this logistics application. Make some cash for Car Incorporated. And check in real quick. Six people are still using Picture Perfect. Probably the same six people. We've sold a few more units, which surprises me. I wonder if we've sold them to companies or not. I wonder if there's a way to look at if there's software with dependencies. Audio tools. What's the newest audio tool? Tune of 82, Soundplay Studio 4. Oh, it uses the Door Shade 3, which is from St Stab Show LLC. Huh. Use the Door Shade 3 as well. Use Frame OS 5. Oh, those are the operating systems, not the 2D editor dependencies, which would be cool to know too. Goodbye, guys. Enjoy your vacation. I think I have a couple employees on vacation right now. Which is fine. Oh, you're so close to having finished it. Alright, two employees just went on vacation, so we're down to two employees. Luckily, one of them is a programmer. So we should be able to keep doing this like it's normal. This being contracts. There we go, some money. Let's accept this logistics application for a cow and eat. I wonder if they make beef patties. Yeah, everything's going real well right now. These aren't really good designers. I mean, they're fine designers, but we also normally have a designer with us. Hopefully we can get this done. I think we'll be fine. Having a little meeting outside, you know. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze again. One second. Oh man, my allergies are really starting to kick my ass right now. I just sneezed so hard. And now we're gonna keep designing this piece of software. Whew. I'm so sorry. Sorry about the sneezing. I know I muted my mic for it, but still it interferes with my uh, commentary. And then my voice sounds all scratchy and awful. I get really bad allergies sometimes. I don't, I hope we're gonna finish this. One day left, maybe we'll just, if we can do the develop phase, we'll develop at the end of the day, no matter what happens. Cause yeah, we can code it in no time. If we have our master, master coder with us. And we'll just finish at the end of the day. Like everyone's back anyway. Perfect. We didn't make much the previous year because of the vacations and all. We still pay those people. We'll fix all of the bugs. How's that? 
Release it, call cleaning. We'll pay them some money. And then we'll get a new contract. You can take a look at all of the contracts we've done. The most recent one down here. Here's the one chicken limited up there. It's cool to see like how much work this company does on contracts. Like we're doing a contract. We're doing maybe two contracts a month or two and a half contracts a month. It feels like, which is a hefty amount of work. So like it took us that week. We almost finished this contract that week. We should finish it this week. And at noon, yeah, so we'll release it. Got charged with some bugs, but hey man, it's out in the wild. And we'll accept this contract. It'll be a little bit of a longer one. We'll have time to work on it. And our reputation's almost four stars. Like we're, we're a legit company right now. People like what, what we do. Wee. Gonna make sure to keep my environment up. It goes down as it gets dirty, but I don't want it to get too low. I'm not too worried about it either. And let's meet, and then I want to develop this stuff. It's being designed, develop. This will take an extra week. And then we'll promote it. At, we'll probably finish it today, this week. I mean, one, two, three, four. We'll bait it for the rest of the day, fix all the bugs we can, and then at the end of the day, you guys will go home, we'll release it, we'll hire call cleaning, and that'll be good. Um, I think my allergies started to get to me. I think I'm gonna call it here. I'm glad everyone came by, came by Urban Commando. Thank you, MSGN was here earlier, had to go to bed. And for everyone else who's lurking in chat, thank you so much for stopping by. I've enjoyed this. I will probably continue this. It's a fun game. I don't know if I'll continue it next Sunday, but it might be the uh, Sunday afterward. Because I might want to. I want to go back to Crusader Kings 2 at some point as well. So we'll figure that out. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. As always, I've been Captain Snaggles. This has been Software Inc. And I will see everybody on the Wednesday for more City Skylines when we return with Bob. I have a whole heck of a lot of fun with that. So thank you so much for showing up. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Wish your mothers a happy Mother's Day. And I will see you on Wednesday. Ta-ta!